want to sincerely thank every single person who has been watching my videos and have been subscribing and uh, sharing the videos and commenting i actually appreciate the efforts so let's talk about some of the things that are happening today we'll talk about the issue of Onode coming to an end and we'll talk about the issue of uh, the uk pressing for an exit from the european union and we'll also talk about jeff bezos divorce and i'll throw it to the house and see what they actually think about all these issues now um there is an issue that is going on right there now that uh an airplane a private jet was actually parked belonging to an jet was actually parked in the motala mohammed airport and some things have been missing from that airplane and this is not the first time um uh, a plane was also burglared a plane belonging uh to the airpiece boeing 737 aircraft was also uh robbed when it was taking off at uh, abuja when it was taking off to abuja and then in 2017 a plane a private jet conveying whiskey then was also robbed so the question is where would there be security in our country if in the airport they still steal from you so where would be security and these are the things that we should also be uh, looking at and if you read the comments somebody was like saying even there is no place that is even safe in nigeria that's it there is there is nothing you you are not going to hear in this uh country called nigeria nigeria is actually losing it and then not to waste time uh there is a report going out there now that nigeria imported 5.32 billion liters of petrol in the quarter of last year in the last quarter of uh, uh last year five point something billion liters of petrol so when you talk about this when you, when you look at the stack of people who are the people who have large oil reserves nigeria nigeria should be among the first 12. yet our own petrol we have these resources but we cannot actually refine this stuff you know i was watching a, i was watching a report out there and the report said that uh, is it in africa or Cote d'ivoire they produce cocoa this cocoa the farmers produce the cocoa and then they export them to europe where they say uh, where they uh, manufacture them and then they make them to chocolate now in that documentary this the farmers were giving chocolate and they said when they were tasting chocolate they were like ah this thing is very very sweet ah what is it made of they said it's made of of what it's made up of cocoa and not the, the amazing thing about this documentary is that the country, the entire country, exported cocoa worth one billion dollars. When it crossed over, it was processed and everything. The company then profited eighteen billion dollars. So the question is, what if we have materials? It's good to export, all, but what if we have materials that we can use to process this stuff can't we get those amount of money you see there was uh, somebody was actually preaching that um they, there was a gold mine is in, in zambia or one of those countries and the government could not actually um buy the equipment or put things in place to actually mine the copper mines in zambia and a chinese company took over it and this chinese company that took over it they bought it on loan they didn't pay for it they took over it on loan they went to the processes and then in three months or something there about they were able to refine these stocks and they paid back the money to the government and they have excess profits and they are the ones who are in charge of it now so what is the problem with uh nigeria what is the problem with africa the problem is we have these resources you talk about a country like um congo So you talk about a country like Congo, where they have an estimated twenty-four trillion dollars worth of untapped. This is not resources resources that have been tapped to untapped. Look at it, untapped deposits of just raw minerals, just raw. As in, this is unprocessed now. This uh, this is just in their unrefined state. They have 
the net worth of 24 trillion dollars how much is the u.s economy how much is the u.s economy the u.s is even owing debt but congo is among the poorest countries in the world right now Do you know the problem the problem is there is mismanagement you're seeing dangote is trying to build refineries now you're seeing uh and it's it's a private company that is going to solve the, the light issue in nigeria so when people are shouting give us light give us light it's not going to be they're not going to give us light it's like you're waiting for the government to uh if the government were the one who is still in charge of uh course and and, and like night and all that supposing mtn the Etisalat, the nine mobile the uh, it they didn't come there would have been nothing or there would have been poor service when it comes to calling people because if you give it to the government there is chaos because government property it belongs to everybody therefore it belongs to nobody and then moving on we have jeff bezos the world richest man he has actually agreed to the 35 billion dollars uh, divorce uh, Ms. bezos will keep a four percent stake in the company which is worth this amount of money so a question that should be asked is um why the divorce and uh, can't the issue be resolved without divorce this is our word today and uh, if you look at this stuff something can be done and then moving on we have uh, a story coming out from the uk that the european union passport has been uh the uk passport has been changed this is the previous passport and this sorry this is a uh, previous passport and this is the new passport now there is no european union in this passport and they've not actually signed it and they are already making moves so there is a need to cohabitate what are the reasons oh we want to pull out we want to pull out we want to pull out of the uh eu and all that okay let's consider what was britain before the eu what was britain now during the eu and then what will britain be after the eu history is always the total even if there are many nations of the world pleading with the uk not to leave but some of the times when the person is resolved that i want to do this i will let them do it. and then once the result comes out maybe it's true to them or not and then we have the news that water onegi has actually resigned according to cable.ng and the, uh, res the resignation comes on many issues first uh, on his case second on his age and then um third on the the, the needed stuff when it comes to his tenure actually expiring and all that please let, let them bring this uh, case to a close and there are reports saying that this uh, retirement can actually uh, allow him pockets 2.5 billion uh, naira and these are the stuffs now so guys this is where i'm going to end this news for now this is a movement help spread the word out there to people so that they can actually understand every like every share helps this channel a lot so thanks for now and bye